Sure, I'll start with the government side of it. The first is there's a set of programs DHS is uh, executing, leading. Mm -hmm. um, examples are the Einstein program, right. continuous diagnostics, and obviously there's a lot of relationships that have to be established across the government to be able to implement programs such as that. Right. Um, the second is just leveraging the skills, abilities, and um, mission space that uh, various federal departments and agencies have. Uh, I think you know Mark hit it right on with one example is the uh, you know partnering with the Department of Defense uh, on the engagement with the Defense Industrial Base and how we can help share information and you know improve um, what we have and provide over so that they can use that to secure um, their constituents. Um, uh, within the federal government as well, we take advantage of the resources that are out there, um, leveraging the energy labs, uh, some of the technologies and development there, the um, work that they do, not only for energy and defense and other um, sectors, uh, working with the National Institute of Standards and Technology from a uh, research and development standpoint. Um, and obviously, I think everybody's familiar with the relationships with DHS and DOD on various activities of um, threats, vulnerabilities, defense, things like that. From um, Private, or from a critical infrastructure side, uh, the establishment of programs that allow us to uh, do information sharing across broadly across uh, critical infrastructure, um, learning that uh, what's being learned into different ones and enabling um, one sector to be able to share with other sectors as well has been an important program for us. Uh, I mentioned, you know, working with the Department of Defense as well with the DIB, DIB industrial base, um, right. defense industrial base as well. Um, the last one I wanted to really point out was working with industry. Uh, it was telling to me when we were, did an industry day, you know, mm -hmm. several months back, and one of the feedback was it feels like it's an uh, closed door between government and industry, or right. at least from DHS and industry. Right. And um, I think one of the things that we are excited about is uh, opening up the dialogue with industry, not from we're coming out to procure technology, right. but we're looking for feedback on what you've learned and experienced in, you know, protecting your own networks, protecting your own sure. systems Absolutely. that we should be benefiting from as well. So right. engaging in a more active dialogue of the capabilities that are out there and why, how we should be exploring that and defending ourselves yeah, as well. I think yeah, we've seen a lot of... Um, uh, shared accountability, shared responsibility of, across these sectors and with industry and ourselves. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's a team sport to protect the nation, right? right? And we are so intertwined. I think it's um, starting to move away from that concern about being very stovepipe and I protect right. myself and I'm good. No longer right. is that true anymore. Yeah. And I think we, you know, there are ways of using uh, anonymous type of reporting to be able to make people more comfortable with sharing and things Correct. like that. But I think there's a more uh, palette for uh, doing that sharing now. Yeah. Good.